In today's video, we're opening 100 packs of the new OTS 24. Time to What's up guys, we are back with another 100 pack opening of the new OTS set. This one is not as new as sometimes when I open it, but it took me a while to get a hold of these, so I'm pretty excited to open them up. There's some pretty cool ones like Harpy's Feather Duster Ulti is in here, so that's pretty exciting. Let's get to opening because there is 100 packs, but first we're going to do a giveaway. Let's not forget that. I'll be giving away, we pulled a uh, Yugi token the other day out of the Walmart box. I had a, a duplicate of that. And then we have Dark Necrofear. This is the Legendary Collection Yugi's World promo pack that I got from my first edition box that I opened over on Patreon. On. so go check that out if you guys haven't already and to enter that giveaway just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what do you think about ots 24 some of you guys have probably already opened some of this at your local store and stuff like that so let me know if you've got any good pulls i have a hiccup slash burp coming i think it went away perfect let's go all right we have terrors of the overroot so it's at the very beginning super rare terrors of the overroot we have raiders and raiders four tricks there is a two dollar super called cornfield codal unchained soul king tiger wangu is a super in here for the GOAT format, we like that. Unchained Salt Aruha for Distant Coder. We have Raid Raptor and Sephira, Queen of... What is it, Queen of? Queen of Dra oh, just Dragons. Why did I think it was something besides that? I don't know. The other ulties are Chaos Angel and Rock of Vanquisher. So, pretty cool ones. Not exactly like the craziest ulties or anything like that. I mean, Rock of Vanquisher is a $9 ulti. So, that might be one of the worst ultis they've ever printed. Cornfield Codal. So, that's a good one. Set that aside. Uh, Magic Specter and Raider's Wing. Is this like a horror monster of the cornfield or something like that? It kind of looks like it. That's pretty interesting. All right. Seems like I'd be in like Smallville or something like that. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's see if we can get an ulti. We have Unchained Souls. Maybe we will just get like Chaos Angel and Harpy's Feather Duster only. By the way, if you do want Chaos Angels, I do have some on my website, the Secret Rare versions. Uh, they are... I think we have like a bunch of them because those are in that 100k collection. We still have a few of those left. So go check out ruxin34.com if you want to grab them. Labyrinth, Chandangular, we have Electric Virus, Rager's Wing. Okay, sure. Not the craziest cards. 100 packs to open today. Should be fun. Even though we are a couple months late to this set, we might as well open it up because I didn't get to open it up before. So might as well open it now. Terrors of the Overroot. Sign that mining is a common now. Wow. How the mighty have fallen. I remember that being a huge card in like 2019. Like there was like a reprint of it. And we were like, whoa, it's crazy. But that was before we reprinted like everything like two every two seconds. That's actually not true. They reprinted a lot of stuff then. But it has now become a common. All right. Maynadium Reframing. Pup Plant and Fire Flint Lady. That Fire Flint Lady, I think, was in Battles of Legend Armageddon with the 10k dragon, right? Speaking of 10k dragon, I also have one of those on my website. It is a Korean version, I think. Think, something like that but we have a 10k dragon available if you guys want to check that out it's definitely cheaper than the regular english version aruha we have raiders wing and raid raptors call no ultis yet i didn't mix these up pretty good because you know a lot of the time these cards like in ots they'll be like in order to be like 10 straight of the same super unchained soul of sharbara not really a lot of big cards out here. I mean, a pretty, not for, I mean, oh, King Tiger Wanghu. Very nice. Uh, very forgettable, to be honest, in terms of the cards inside. But King Tiger is pretty cool because that is a really good goat card. I mean, a really amazing card. 1700, there's another one. It is, uh, yeah, what is it? 1400 or less. Destroy all of it if they're face up for 1400 or less attack. So you basically can't like summon anything under that. So I think it's just a beast. So you have to pretty much out it if you're going to put out anything lower than that. A lot of decks just want to put out little little stuff and they can't because of King Tiger. So very good side decking card for back then. I'm missing the trash can every time. I'm not really sure how because it's right in front of me, but somehow I kept missing the trash can. Okay, let's keep it going. These do not... After Legacy Destruction, which... Oh, Somehow I can't. Oh, an ult. It's <laughs> Rocket the Vanquisher. Crap. Okay, somehow I missed the trash can again. Distracted me. We pull an ulti, which is a $9 ulti. So we're not looking at a huge one there. We definitely want to pull the other one. I have never seen an ulti that low. It might be because we're opening them later and the prices have settled. And like usually if you open them early, like nothing is $9 for ultimate rares. But that's really terrible. I mean, $9 for an ultimate rare. There's only three ultis in the set. So it's not like there's a lot to choose from. That's pretty bad. I mean, honestly, that is pretty sad. Hopefully, we don't get any more of those. We'll probably pull like three or four of those. That's all it's got. There's a big one. And look at the centering on these two ultis. I need to sleeve these, by the way. I didn't even bother because it was $9. So, it's like, you know what? Uh, the centering on this Chaos Angel. Oh, my goodness. That thing's got a forehead for sure. It's just like me. Check it out. Look, we're, we're twins. Check this out, guys. Yeah, but that that is wild. Chaos Angel. Uh, this, this one is pushed that way this one's not as bad but it is pushed that way so the centering so far is not looking great i will say i'll just punch the thing that these actually look pretty good i like the way these ultis look they look different and the question is will the uh, light of destruction reprint will it have ultis like this or will it have ultis 
like the old school will it be i mean they've they've kind of changed throughout the years so i don't know what they're gonna look like we pulled now two out of three i mean harvey's feather dust is the one we wanted even though chaos angel is more expensive so i guess we're not mad to pull that but we really want the feather duster if it could be centered and we could grade it that would be awesome i'm grading a lot of cards at that level cornfield the coodle all right so we've opened a decent amount of packs so far but nothing insane yet uh we have unchained soul sharva we have tribulanius Safira. come on give us something good uh, King Tiger, we have Raid Raptor, we have Fire Flint. Come on, give us something crazy. I mean, this set, I mean, I'm looking, there's really not much to talk about in this set. It's pretty amazing. Like, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards over a dollar. Three of them are the ultis, obviously. There's one that's a dollar oh eight, so it's probably not even a dollar. It's probably less than a dollar. Bizer Shock. The reprints are pretty. I mean, I've seen King Tiger. I really like that one. Other than that, it's kind of like, I mean, DDD cards, like nothing too crazy honestly not seeing much i mean the harvey's feather dust is the one i like it is now playable at least you can play it at one in the tcg so i guess it makes sense to at least be in here but it's an old school card so and it's a one of so it's not as necessarily as needed rock of the vanquisher i mean that's a very weird one i mean sign at mining i guess is pretty cool i don't know if anybody's using that because it that's specific for an archetype so i don't think that archetype's that great anymore yeah like cybers i really don't think i'm trying to think i mean i don't really keep up with the meta too much obviously except for of course all the important bands uh cornfield codal but i'm not thinking that cybers is too great so that's probably another reason it's not doing so hot we have the manadium reframing magic specter tornado from dimension of chaos everybody we remember that yeah i think it was a super in that set manadium reframing another magic specter tornado a lot of packs in this i mean opening you're opening a lot of packs for three cards like it is it is an interesting thing like normally you open up nine cards and you do you know go through them but this it's like okay there's the hollow there's the two commons next you know it's kind of strange it's a strange feeling it's like open a bunch of light packs except they actually have like good stuff in them sometimes most of the time actually this is one of the worst ones probably uh i'm trying to, recently they haven't been amazing but they've definitely been better than these three ultis i mean chaos angel is a great card that's probably a good one uh harvey's feather duster is kind of in the middle because it is somewhat usable you know harvey's feather duster it's not in every deck it's not a three of but it is pretty usable sometimes the rock of the vanquisher is just like a random archetype one they threw in and sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't and with the vanquishers not exactly being big it's not working we have king tiger wang Wu. there we go we got it all right we have pearly sleepy we have ots can we pull Labyrinth? Okay, Labyrinth stuff. I mean, Labyrinths were cool for a while. And by cool, I mean, I don't think a lot of people liked them, but I thought they were cool. Unchained Solar Rua. We've only gotten two oldies, though. We should get five or even six, hopefully six, to make up for that $9 one. Because, uh, yeah, that's like literally, I mean, it's a $40, $53, and a $9. So you'd have to pull like five of those to even be more than the Harpy's Feather Duster, which is like, wow, that is really terrible. <laughs> that is really terrible. Oh! Oh, speaking of Arby's Feather Duster, did we get our wish? Is that thing centered? It's a little bit thicker at the top. That's a little bit of a line down the back. You guys can see that. Oh, man. A little bit of a line. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it at PSA. Centering looks... I mean, it's pretty good. It almost looks like it goes like... It gets wider like this and then comes back. It looks weird. It doesn't look... It's definitely crooked, but it's a beautiful card. The original artwork, really cool. I really like that artwork. Actually, now that I say that, is that the original artwork? They had two artworks so close to each other. Stairway to Destiny Duel and TP8. And I, I wonder what the original in the Japanese was. <sighs> they're both good. I, I think they're both pretty iconic. But uh, interesting. I don't remember which one. The High King Caesar got a reprint. I think that might have been in Dimension of Chaos too. I know they had a few DDD cards. So we have all, have all three ultis. So a lot of times that does... I mean, not a lot of times. But some of the time that doesn't happen. You don't get all three. So that's cool for that to happen. Now we're really hoping the duplicates we get are Chaos Angel and Harpy's Feather Duster. That would be fantastic. Especially if we can get some centered ones. That would be really cool. I would love to grade Harpy's Feather Duster other duster that's the only one probably because chaos angels playable braga vanquisher is just like who cares <laughs> like uh, unless that becomes a popular deck i don't think people are going to be real excited about a psa 10 of rock of the vanquisher it, it would be an ots ulti so if you're like collecting the ots ulti psa 10s not that i i've actually never heard of anyone doing that so if you are doing that let me know in the comments psa 10s ots ultis it's a pretty big collection because you'd have 24 sets times three now 72 cards in psa 10 to collect i mean honestly <sighs> Centering looks even better on this one. Oh, that might be our one. 
I mean, it's not completely perfect. The back does have a little bit of like stuff going on, but that might be our PSA 10 right there. I think I might keep that one raw and this one. I mean, centering is not completely perfect, but it's definitely within 60, 40. All right, we're grading that one. Harpy's Feather Duster. That is a beautiful ulti right there. That will be going to PSA. I have a, a pretty big sub going to PSA already. A lot of you members and uh, Patreon people already saw the preview video that I put out for you guys. It was a very casual, but I just rifled through the cards, you know, talk about why I submitted them, stuff like that. But go check that out if you guys missed it and you guys are a member, which a lot of you guys are and you guys didn't see it. Because that one I didn't actually post. I didn't embed that one as like an actual video i just uh posted a link so you might have missed it on the community tab but it'll be a members only post that one's gonna be cool though i'm really excited for that tears the overroot let's see okay so four ulties have been pulled two rb's feather duster if we can get another chaos angel this will actually be pretty decent and then if we get a sixth ulti obviously that goes crazy so i'm not gonna be mad if that happens even if it is the vanquisher is the sec the sixth one it wouldn't be terrible but if it was like three chaos angel two rb's feather duster one rocket the vanquisher That'd be pretty fire. I mean, that would be pretty nice. Okay, let's keep it going. We have Pearly. We're probably down to a third of the packs, maybe a little bit less, maybe a quarter. Something like that. King Tiger is back at it. King Tiger Wong. Who? Those can go in my goat in my goat format box because I have not actually I haven't actually added to the goat format in a while, but I don't think I have a lot of King Tigers. I have a few from I think Ferronic Guardians where it's from, which would make sense because Ferronic Guardian has all the great commons and rares. I think it's just a rare in that set, so I can put a few supers in there for when I get back to go format which right now it's edison you know edison's more fun for me right now but i still like go format i still appreciate it i like using all those old school cards it really is why i like those old formats it's just the old school cards are just fun and hopefully you know more cool formats from old school will continue to pop up and i can keep doing stuff like that but you know the more like you do more old formats and i have these boxes i'm gonna have stuff for those other formats because it's just like old cards and i just have a box of old cards whether or not they're available for that specific format it's just a lot of them cross over so i'm kind of just building boxes for old school formats which is pretty cool we have sharvara and that is fun to do we have the and I, I did complete my the deck that i was making for the if you guys didn't see the edison box video go watch it i went through for like 35,000, 40,000 cards looking for uh go format i mean edison format cards and then building a deck from brother and i was missing four cards i did get those so i've completed that deck my box is looking fire i've been adding to it ever since there's a lot of great cards in there. Some cards I need. I still need some more fairy cards, stuff like that, sign up mining. But overall, it's coming together pretty well. I haven't actually like put it to use yet, but it's exciting to have all those different cards and uh, like options for making decks. Because I do want to make more decks than the four I have. I have three and then one for my brother. So And really, Edison and Lightsworn, not my favorite decks of this of the of Edison. I don't really like them that much. They're kind of bad. I do like Diva Hero, though. That's the current one I actually play. But I do want to make some other ones like the Dragon deck. I want to make the goblin zombie deck. That's like a diva zombie deck. I want to make that. I want to make the uh, fairy deck. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff you can play. Okay, Terrors of the Overroot. A lot of Cyanat Minings. Okay, we only have four ultis so far. I'm getting a little nervous. Hopefully, we'll at least get a fifth one. A sixth one would be great, but at least a fifth one. Hopefully, it's a Chaos Angel or a Harpy's Feather Duster. That is not either of those. Getting down to maybe 10 packs left. So, we've opened like 90 packs. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it if you guys do that. Make sure to do that if you guys like the videos. And go check out some recent videos. We have 365 videos slash live streams a month. Like, not, not a month. That would be crazy. A year. So make sure you guys go check all of those out. There's a lot of you that I'm sure that you're watching this and you're like, you know, I haven't seen the last few videos. Oh, yeah. Let's go. A third Arby's Feather Duster. Here we go. Centering on that one. Not as good, but that's still really cool. I'll take it. A third RB Feather Duster. That's my favorite card in the set, so I'll take it. Three RB Feather Duster. I still hold out hope. There could be a sixth ulti in here. Let's hope there is. And we have three Harvey's Feather Duster. We have two Chaos Angel. And we have one of the terrible ones. So honestly, pretty good. Four out of five were not the, the $9 one. So that will definitely help. And hopefully our Harvey's Feather Duster will grade well. That would be really nice. Okay, King Tiger. Very cool. We're down to six packs left. Six packs left, guys. Here we go. Send me some luck in the comments. I appreciate you guys for being here, watching the video, enjoying the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards coming out. King Tiger. It's always fun to have new cards. And there's a lot more new stuff, including Rarity Collection coming up soon. If you guys have not already pre-ordered, go check out Sassy Auto down below. Get 5% off using my discount code. It also supports me when you do that. The uh, Rarity Collection is going to be crazy. 
It's going to be so good. We're going to be opening up tons of stuff live. We're going to do a whatnot stream. Then we're going to do the huge stream completing the entire binder live on YouTube as well. So get get pumped for that. That's in like two and a half weeks or three weeks or something. It's going to be amazing. So I'm super excited. I mean, Rarity Collection 1 was amazing. Rarity Collection 2 is probably going to be maybe not as good because Rarity Collection, it's hard to top number one, but the sequel should be pretty good. Last pack. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. Send us a block right here. Let's pull something amazing like a sixth ulti. Come on, let's make it happen right here. Let's go. We have Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius, Raid Raptor Call, and DDD Wave High King Caesar. That's all right. We did pretty well there. We only got one of the Rock of the Bangers here, so I'm happy. And three of my favorite ones. So it turned out pretty well. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anessa Deanda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.